As a car pulls into the blind spot, you'll see the warning indicator come on on the side of the mirror. And then as the driver activates the turn signal, it'll flash, giving a second warning. The Q7 uh, is using the C2000 platform that uh, it is a, a digital controller, a digital signal controller. And uh, Hela, the German company uh, who has developed this system for Audi, has chosen this platform because it's highly, ideally suited for uh, uh, this type of sensing application, radar application. So historically, if you talk about radar, you talk about floating point, okay? Uh -huh. And uh, floating point is very much not affordable for uh, the automotive industry. So uh, the tweak they have used is they have used this uh, 32-bit platform, the C2000, and uh, in conjunction, uh, they have implemented uh, the uh, virtual floating point library, and so they can do a floating point treatment on a fixed point 32-bit machine. So this is the first innovation that is allowing this price point, and there are several other, uh, I would say, uh, uh, differentiation or, or uh, uh, peripherals that are implemented on this chip, so it has a CAN bus, it is mandatory for the automotive, yeah, yeah. it has onboard, onboard, onboard flash, uh, so all those features ah. uh, suits uh, uh, ideally the, this type of uh, application. So, so you're seeing a lot more cars uh, beginning to use the C2000 for these kind of applications? Absolutely, with supervision, uh, just on this car, uh, you can see up to three radars, okay? okay. So two in the back, one from, for each lane, the left lane and the right lane, and one in the front for the, automotive, for the adaptive cruise control. But the C2000 is also doing uh, uh, various applications like uh, hybrid motor. You speak about uh, okay. saving energy, so yes. uh, this dual mode motor uh, has been controlled so by the C2000. So the hybrid cars will yes, use the C2000? Okay. And also for more traditional type of uh, uh, motor control, like uh, climate control okay. uh, or like uh, electronic power steering. Very good. That's exciting. So. Do we have any other devices in this car? Yeah, actually, not just the C2000, but you know, uh, the car are more and more uh, controllers. And in this specific car, we are uh, also supplying the TMS470, uh, which is our uh, microcontroller uh, line. And this is being used in uh, uh, both the airbags, and this car has uh, 11 airbags. Okay? Wow. Uh, so it's a pretty safe car. And. Uh, uh, it's also used into the EPS system, okay, the trajectory control system associated with the anti-lock braking system. Very good. So it almost sounds like this car will be able to drive itself in the near future. I guess we have here the, the key blocks of the, what we call the, you know, the autonomous vehicle. Yeah. Uh, because once you add to the radar technology, which is the major milestone, you can have the vision to detect the lanes, and this is starting also. So what's for sure is that uh, with this type of car, uh, if you drive this type of car, you won't uh, be driving us uh, crazy anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds really good. So thanks a lot, Jean-Marc. You know, thank you. thanks for, for the deep uh, demo. And thank you so much, Scott. Very impressive car you got here. Thank you very much.